Hello guys, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to understand about Selenium architecture. So the previous tutorial was all about the Selenium introduction, the basics of Selenium. And now let's understand the Selenium architecture. Understanding Selenium architecture is really important because it will help you to understand how you are going to set up the development environment and write the script so um, how your scripts interact with the browser so this understanding is really important in any automation framework or any automation tool so having a basic understanding of the architecture helps you a lot in uh, you know like future in the advanced topics in in learning the tool um, uh, properly so let's go ahead and understand the Selenium architecture. So here on my screen, I have prepared a diagram for Selenium architecture. So if you see in the left hand side, we have the Selenium client library section, right? So what this Selenium client library is because we have seen that Selenium supports multiple programming languages like Java, Python, Ruby, C sharp, JavaScript, right? So this client library provided by selenium is basically uh, helps you to write your code in any of these programming supported programming languages in the integrated development environment so uh, for example for java you will use eclipse for python uh, you can use pycharm uh, for java you have other uh, other uh, ides as well so once you write your script in any of these programming language your selenium client library um helps uh, that code to be interpreted so basically what happens is uh, once you write your test case and trigger your test that complete selenium code that you have written in any programming supported programming language say for example here let's take an example of java that code gets translated or converted into the json format okay and transferred to the selenium um, uh, web driver through the json wire protocol so you if you see here the json wire protocol so your code whatever you have written uh, gets uh, converted into the json format through the json wire protocol over http it gets transferred to any of these browser drivers so here you have the web driver and then supported uh, you know like browser drivers so for example you try you are trying to execute your script that you have written in the chrome browser so you will have the corresponding chrome browser uh, chrome uh, driver chrome browser driver and then you have the real browser okay so here you will see these arrows are bi-directional so what this means is that the once you run the script it gets communicated to uh, through the json wire protocol to the selenium web driver and the corresponding uh, and the browser driver which is in this case we are taking an example of the chrome browser so chrome driver and that chrome driver in turn uh, launches or sends the actions or the script actions that you have defined to the real browser okay so it will launch the real browser it will perform the action that you have defined in your script and then based on that action if the action is successful then it will respond back whether the action has been successful and then to the chrome browser from the chrome browser again to the json wire protocol over http to your ide in this case in uh, our case it will be eclipse because this is we'll be using java and we'll be using eclipse as an integrated development environment for java so to give you a brief example so for example i want to search any text on google.com right so this is the very basic script that i launch the browser i want to launch google.com in chrome browser search a text and see whether the search has been successful so what i'll do in the automation steps is i'll first step will be to launch the browser and launch uh, and um, open the url google.com then i'll find the text box search text box i'll click on that text box and then i'll 
enter the text that I want to search and then click on the search button and it will give me the results. Now in the automation scripts, I'll perform the same steps. So with my Selenium um, Java client library, I'll write these steps in the programming uh, in the code. And once I'll run this code, it this code will get converted into JSON wire, into JSON format through JSON wire protocol. It will go to the Chrome browser, launch the browser, perform all these actions. If it is not able to find, say for example, there is a web element search text box that you have defined in your script, which is not which the uh, the uh, the Chrome browser is not able to uh, the Chrome driver is not able to find in the real browser. So in that case, there will be error return. So in the error scenario, the return the error will be returned to the Chrome driver, right? And then from Chrome driver, it will be returned from um, in the JSON format with JSON wire protocol over HTTP to your IDE, okay? And it will be it will be displayed on your ID as an error. So this is briefly or very quickly to understand the overview or how the Selenium architecture it is. Now, if you want to get a lot more detail or want to dig deeper into, um, you know, what exactly, how the Selenium web driver is implement, implemented. So like Selenium web driver is actually a REST API. Okay, so if we, Let's go ahead and uh, before before understanding that Selenium Web Driver REST API, I would like to show you the browser drivers that we need to download and configure in our environment setup, right? So let me go back to this website, okay? And here, if you'll see, we'll go to the doc downloads page, right? And here you have the Selenium client. Right, so Selenium client web driver language binding. So this is what all this Selenium client library is talking about, right? So these client libraries basically, so if you want to write your code or test in Java, you need this client library, right? So you need to download this. Now, if you want to run your test case in a different browser, so go to browser section. So Gecko driver is implemented for support by uh, Mozilla, right? So if you want to run your test case in the um, Firefox, you need Gecko driver. If you need to uh, run test case in IE, you need IE driver. For Safari, it is Safari driver. And all these are supported by um, different organizations. So you'll see Safari supported by Apple, Opera is by Opera software, Chrome driver is by the Chromo Chromium project, right? and Edge is by Microsoft. So depending on which browsers you want to run your test cases, you have to download these browser drivers and configure these, right? So this is what we need to configure and then the Selenium web driver library. So there are multiple configuration options um, that are available. So I'll show you exactly what all you need in order to set up your your uh, development environment before you start writing your uh, first test case in Selenium, right? So now, when it comes to understanding what exactly is Selenium um, a web driver, so Selenium web driver is nothing, it's an API, right? It's a REST API, and when you write your uh, test case or any step in any ID in language, say for example, uh, Java, you are writing uh, the step or code to launch any web page. Now, what happens is there is a call behind, uh, the, there is a call that happens. So your that, that particular line of code is converted into the JSON format and sent as a request or a REST GET request or POST request. So depending on what operation you are performing, so it will be sent as a POST request or GET request. And that's what Selenium Web Driver is all about. So it will be sending that request and getting the response back into the JSON format. Now, if you want to get into the more details of, um, you know, 
the WebDriver API. So you can go to the uh, documentation and in the documentation here you can you can see the selenium browser automation project and you can see w3 web driver specification if you click on web driver specification it will show you the w3 specification for all the components of the web driver right so for example these are the actions that are available for the elements so you can find elements you can find um, element from element so all these so if you go to elements section and scroll down you will see uh, some get post method so you can you can see the find method right find element so when you say actually find element you, you see actually internally what happens is it's a post method and it passes the session ID of the particular session and finds the element, right? The element that you pass or uh, the locator or the location of the element that you pass. So this is more of, you know, like what exactly how the web driver implementation is done. So find elements or find element from element. Similarly, under the actions, you will see there are a lot of methods available. So this is if you want to, if you are more interested into what exactly uh, the web driver is, how it is implemented. So you can go through this documentation to learn a lot more about the web driver architecture. But if you are just learning to be, you know, like an automation tester and not worried into too much detail of the internal working. So which I don't think you will require if you are just. Um, you know doing the automation script so just stick to the high level architecture because this architecture will be asked in many uh, interview questions so it will help you a lot to explain how exactly uh, it is uh, implemented so that's pretty much all about the selenium architecture hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching